physicists have shown that quantum theory doesn't obey the assumed fundamental principles of physical laws. At Delft University of Technology, an experiment was conducted which shows that the Bell inequality doesn't hold, meaning that quantum theory doesn't obey locality and realism. Before getting into what this all means, we should first cover some basic quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, a particle exists in a superposition of all of its possible states until it is measured, at which point it collapses down into a single state. Particles can also be entangled, meaning that if you measure the state of one entangled particle, it forces the other particle in the system to have the opposite state. For example, if we have two entangled electrons that can have the possible states of spin up or spin down, if we measure one of our electrons have spin up, it means that the entangled other electron must have spin down. This presents the possibility that quantum mechanics doesn't obey locality, which means that information could be transmitted faster than the speed of light. Or quantum mechanics might not obey realism, which means that the result of the experiment would be determined before the experiment is done. This is where Bell's inequality comes in. Bell's inequality gives us a testable condition to see if any theory based on locality and realism can explain this quantum mechanical phenomenon. So if Bell's inequality is violated, either locality or realism must go. Getting back to the experiment conducted at the Delft University of Technology, they have shown that quantum mechanics violates Bell's inequality. The experimental setup is pretty complex, but here's the basics of what they did. In their experiment, they had two electrons that were separated by 1.3 kilometers at point A and point B. Both of these electrons emitted a photon which was entangled to the parent electron's state. This photon then traveled to point C where the photons were then entangled together and straight away the electrons were entangled also. This all happened in 4.18 microseconds which is faster than the 4.27 microseconds it would have taken light to classically transmit the information from point A to point B. So this is an incredibly remarkable result they've come across. So it looks like there's some fundamental process in quantum mechanics that we just don't know about yet. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. We've got more things to look for and explore new areas of science. Anyway, that's it for this video. You'll find links in the description to articles on this story. And if you like this video, please do leave a like and thank you for watching.